How do you make the impossible possible? You're capable of more than your mind allows you to believe. It's a decision to believe in yourself. You just have to make the decision. This is Anders Hoffman. He's the only person in the world to ever complete an Ironman triathlon in Antarctica, something he coined as an Iceman. It's a 3.8 kilometer swim, a 180 kilometer bike ride, and a full 42 kilometer marathon, all in extremely unforgiving and dangerous conditions. But unlike the OG Iceman, Wim Hof, Anders has never had an innate ability to withstand the cold. He could barely stay 30 seconds in cold water when he began his training journey, and he wasn't even a pro Ironman athlete. He even described himself as a nobody and simply wanted to prove that the ordinary can achieve the extraordinary. So in June 2018, he posted a video to YouTube announcing to the world what he was going to attempt. Completing what I call an Iceman on Antarctica. People tell me it's impossible, but I want to show you that limitations are really only perceptions as to what we can achieve. I can't believe that Anders made it out alive. This is truly a nearly impossible feat that he has accomplished. What he did is something that not even the best athletes in the world would even attempt. Yes Theory actually made a documentary about Anders doing this Iceman in Antarctica. They just premiered the film in LA that I got to see. I saw it in London as well. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I was like, what the actual there he is. <laughs> it's the Iceman. Hey, good to see you. I really want to get to the mindset mm -hmm. around the whole thing and the soul calling that kind of motivated you and kept you going. It's very simple, actually. I hope that's what people take away from the film, that I'm no superhuman at all. Not at all. Nobody imagines that the Iceman from Project Iceman, first ever cold plunge, was 35 seconds. I, I think that was a huge standout from the film, was actually seeing the progress. You started from nothing mm. and you built all of it through training and persistence and, yeah. and consistency. So we should sit down and like get Sounds in that good. brain. So I would like to start this interview by doing some breath work. Breath work for me has been super powerful for actually overcoming limiting beliefs. I have an app called Open that has really great breath work, movement, meditation, and I, I use it a lot. I actually did it this morning. And we're just gonna do one minute to kind of get on the same frequency. Two breaths in through the nose, one breath out through the mouth. Notice how you feel. I'm really curious with what you took on. How much were you relying on your breath? Without breath, we wouldn't be alive, right? So we are all, always relying on our breath. And I think for me, you realize that when you're going through like hard times, both physically and mentally, in the end that it's the breath that gets you through it. One thing that has helped me with being in cold water mm. at all is starting with breath work. Yeah. Did you do any breath work training for this? No. Not really. I'm a pragmatic guy, just go do. Because oftentimes, then you think, okay, I need to do this before I do this. I need to do this before I do this. But you can just go do it. And that's why I also love Wim Hof. Iceman Wim Hof has become kind of a global sensation over yeah. the past couple of years. I know that you got to meet him mm. and he sort of passed the torch to mm. you. The next generation mm. Iceman. Mm. His whole thing is bringing this to the younger generation. Yeah, yeah. What did he share with you? I actually didn't know about Wim Hof when I started the journey. Uh, it hilarious. wasn't until probably a year or half a year in that I obviously got to know about him because I called it Iceman, right. Project Iceman, before I knew about the real Iceman. And then I, I obviously looked into like probably his breathing and being aware of that when I was in the cold water influence the realization that you know how important the, the breath is in, in many ways we are trying to show the same things he lost what i'm doing so i think that's what we connected around when i went to meet him and do training with him i thought we're mm. gonna learn some special method and that was completely not yes, the case no. he's like there is no method no. get in the water yeah. i was like uh. And that's what I love about him. It's, it's really that simple. You don't have to overcomplicate the simple things. Then you can always come up with a reason why tomorrow is better to start or the circumstances, when the weather is good. You'll make up all these excuses. How would you simplify it to anybody who is going after their own Iceman in life? How do you make the impossible possible? When we set big goals, the challenge, the, the mistake we often make is that we don't break it down. You should only focus on the immediate next step. Trust the process, even though you will have doubts. When you really 
push your own boundaries. Doubt is a natural thing. If you don't have doubt, you're not pushing yourself enough. That's what I usually say. And then just take one challenge at a time. Was there ever any doubt that came up that maybe it wasn't possible? A little over the midpoints. After 26, 27 hours, I think I, had, I was at my like ultimate low. I hadn't slept at the time and you had just been going on. Like tears kept started running down just because your, your body just tries to do everything. It can to stop you, right? I was telling the team that I was broken. I thought I might get to a point where I would physically collapse. But when I was going through this scenario, I just realized the like the patterns of my thoughts that I was saying to myself pretty much that this would this was not possible, right? Breaking through that, I decided with 60 kilometers to go that I was past my, my ultimate low and now I was going to finish it whatever it took. And that's a really interesting dichotomy between our thoughts and our feelings and our body genuinely trying to keep us alive mm. and then the perceived limitations. Yeah. And in this instance, you are actually in a case of like life or death. Yeah. So at what point do you think maybe I'm actually needing to stop because I need to stay alive mm. or do I need to push past this fear coming up? Like there's a real chance mm. that you wouldn't survive. Mm. Uh, in my mind, this was not about life or death. I saw myself finishing the Iceman. You had no uh, fear of death. I had one fear during the storm when we were walking before we took the time out where I was walking with one of our polar guys. Everybody had gone back to their tents and I think we were 44 hours in. I had only slept for around 30 minutes and I became dizzy and we were walking in this blizzard and because it was pitch dark, the snow kept like coming in front of your face and you were wearing a head torch to, to try and see, but that just lit up the snow. So you couldn't see anything. And I remember I became dizz dizzy and I felt like I just, I could lie down and you know, you, you, I just wanted, you just wanted to lie down yeah, and put an end to it. But you know, if I did that, I would actually die. So in that low point, mm. what was it within you that you needed to overcome to move beyond that point? I got to the point where I thought I couldn't continue. And then I realized that was why I was there to break through, through that point myself. You know, I wanted to show other people. I just, I also had to show it to myself and actually go through it. I'm curious about your advice for people who are really struggling with letting external circumstances mm. determine their perception of reality and how they live their lives. Whatever it is you do, people have an opinion about it. In the end of the day, there's only one voice you should listen to, and that's your own voice. It's a decision to believe in yourself. You just have to make the decision. And I think if you look at it from, from that perspective, it becomes easier than people think it is. Decide to believe in yourself and decide that it is possible to achieve whatever you set your mind to. Write it fucking down, put it on a sticker on the wall so you see it every day. It, it, it does work. Yeah, yeah, you need to remind yourself of, of this many times, especially when you go through the, the hard times. The Iceman wasn't even your actual no. Iceman in life. You kind of did that to prove you can do anything. Yeah your actual Iceman of life, your childhood dream, mm. which is? Becoming a professional football player. And what does that process look like right now? I have no idea. <laughs> I've been, I haven't been training for three months because we've been here working on the film. Now we'll finish the tour, then we'll get the film out, and then I'll get back to training. I don't know how I'm gonna make it happen. I eventually will. And again, I hope that, you know, documenting that journey as well will, will just give the same message to people. And, and I hope with this one, it's like, uh, it's never too late. I mean, I think it's the realization that li limitations are just an opinion or perspective. And that, you know, oftentimes we, we consider it as a fact when, it, when it's not really a fact, it's actually moldable. And realizing that you're capable of more than your mind allows you to believe, which is sort of contradictory, right? Because when you then start pursuing something, you don't know whether you can actually achieve it. You just have to believe in the process and then eventually you will make it happen. Like it was the case with the Iceman, right? All the reasons why I was told I couldn't do it was they were valid because I'd only done one Ironman before. I'd never been like doing any cold water exposure before. I'd never been to Antarctica. I was just an amateur, right? So from, from the outside, you know, it doesn't look possible. When you realize that you can do whatever you set your mind to, whatever it is you want to achieve, right? The only person setting limits or boundaries for yourself is actually you, at least in the world where we, where we come from, right? There will be a lot of unforeseen challenges in that journey, but it's just like facing them one at a time and not doubting whether it's possible, only how you make it possible. There's always a solution to any challenge. And with that mindset, there, then there's nothing that can stop you. It's just a matter of how long it will take for you to do it. A setback or a failure, all these things are also progress if you keep moving forward. Whatever challenge you may face, you can overcome that challenge. It's just about deciding. Deciding. Yeah. Then there are no limits. There are no limits. 
decide to believe in yourself. Yeah. And limitations are only perceptions. Exactly. You watched I, the film twice? I did. It's a masterpiece and I, appreciate it. I hope everybody goes to see it. So it's in they theaters, see, real yeah. theaters. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Crazy. We should and can pursue our craziest dreams, push our limits and succeed.